At Therapy Mats, we make high-quality grounding mats that are well-constructed and guaranteed to work. Yet that doesn't stop some people from returning their mats and even posting reviews on Amazon saying that the mats are defective or that even saying things like it's a scam. There's certainly no scam going on. Uh, what's happening is that people are pulling out their multimeters and pr improperly testing their mats, improperly testing their cords, and they think that it doesn't work when it actually does. So these mats, they're not high-tech but they, there is some technicality to how things work. So um, you can't just take out your multimeter and you know use a uh, continuity test like this one or this one and think that you think that because the core doesn't provide a continuity test that it actually doesn't work. It does work and I'm gonna show you that today. So I've got this multimeter on a continuity test and that means my, mine makes a sound on this on this option, it's gonna make a sound. So that means if there's continuity between point A and point B, between the red and the black, that it'll make a beep. Okay, and so I can test that on anything, and I can just see that there is continuity between one point and another point, and so there's a current that can pass through. Okay. Okay, so if I take one end of the cord and the other end of the cord, this is what people do at home, and lo and behold, there's no continuity. So if you look on the multimeter, it says open line, right? So they think that this is defective. And so it looks like this is a defective cord, that there's no continuity, that there's no flow of current from one end to the other end. Now, that seems logical and it seems correct, but it's actually not. So let me show you the proper way to test your mat. So what we're going to do is you're going to plug it in, plug in your mat, and Forget about continuity testing. Continuity testing is not going to work with a grounding mat. So you're going to use a voltage test. So put your voltage tester on 200, and this is AC volts, not DC volts. So the squiggly line, the V with the squiggly line, and put it to 200. Now what you're going to do is you're going to come over to your electrical outlet. I'm going to, and you can even just, it might work to just touch the, the screw here. This screw is grounded. It's touching the box behind the wall. And so that's probably grounded. And you'll be able to tell if you look on the, the numbers here. So if I touch it, 0.1 volt. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's one volt. So that's my voltage. So it, whether that screw here works or it doesn't work, if that one doesn't work, you can actually just stick it into the grounding port. Now just be careful, you're sticking it into the grounding port not one of the other electrical ports. If you stick it into the electrical port, that's how you can electrocute yourself and maybe even die. So you don't want to do that. You want to stick it into the electrical port, or like I showed you, you can just even touch the screw. Uh, either way, uh, you'll know it works if you get a number on here that shows you, for instance, one volt, okay? So my voltage right now is one volt. If the mat is grounding you, then your voltage should drop from 0.9 or 1 volts or 2 or 3 volts or whatever it is. It should drop to zero or near zero. So I'm at 0.9, I'm touching the mat, and look how it drops to 0 0.01. So, and there it is, 0 0.01, 0 0.0. So the mat works. Did the grounding, did the cord show continuity? No. Does it obviously work to uh, connect to the ground? Yes. That's the proper way to test your grounding mat.